You know that feeling when you find a new favorite song? You may have just come across it, but despite that, you are playing all day from car rides to humming it at work or school. But suddenly, you get sick of the same song that you once loved. You stop wanting to hear it and skip it any time it comes on. This song has simply gotten old for you. But at the same time, there are plenty of songs on your playlist that you have been listening to for years, but somehow they haven't gotten old. Are these songs really just that much better? Is Justin Bieber's Sorry really over 100 times better than Start Again? Okay, you could say that that is because the two songs are written by different people and they have different exposure and things like that. But this phenomenon is true for songs made by the same people as well. Is Stressed Out really the best song 21 Pilots made? I know that views aren't a definitive way to measure how good a song is, but I think we have all felt this one time or another. So here is science behind why some songs get old while others don't. Starting off, the first attribute determining the longevity of a song is its complexity. According to neuroscientists, our brains go through two stages when we listen to a piece of music that keeps us coming back. First is the activation of the caudate nucleus, and second is the activation of the cumbis nucleus. The caudate nucleus is activated during the buildup to your favorite part in a song. This is that feeling of anticipation. Next, the cumbis nucleus is triggered during the peak of the song and this results in the release of endorphins. As we get to know a song better, our brains are less and less engaged anticipating and during these peaks. Dr. Michael Boncher, an expert in the psychology of music, I know what you're thinking, that is a legitimate field of study. Anyways, he states that a key factor determining whether these signals are fired off in our brains is the complexity of the song. Evidence shows that the more complex the stimuli of a song, the more likely a person is to like it with the time. While the opposite is the case for simple stimuli, says Dr. Boncher. Consequently, the more complex a piece of music is, the more likely it is to have greater longevity. One of the most effective techniques to increase the complexity of a song is using longer and more detailed musical phrases. Because the longer a vocal is in one breath, the more likely we are to sing along. And when there are multiple layers of singing, it is harder for our brains to focus on both parts and often leads to us coming back for that part. A great example of this is Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. This is no doubt a classic song and it is still very popular. In fact, it is so popular that they released a movie called Bohemian Rhapsody just last year. Coming in at 6 minutes long and stacked with layers of harmonic, rhythmic, and vocal complexities, it is no wonder the song is such a hit. Moving on, the next factor influencing the longevity of a song is the element of surprise. Humans love to experience to do things that they have never done before, but at the same time, it is also hard to get people to try something new and divert from what they are used to. As a result, surprise is most effective when it is combined with a strand of familiarity, creating a kind of deja vu experience. Most songs actually use a pretty standard set of chord progressions as these have proven to be adored by us. However, the execution is what is important. This could be accomplished by maybe a unique instrument or sound that you are not familiar with. Like the beginning of Shape of You, the chords are probably something you've heard before, but the use of the log drum is what makes it interesting and new. In the recently popular TikTok song Cradles, it is actually the same chords used throughout the entire song. But when you think of the song, everyone thinks of the same spot, the part with the music box bells. And then of course, there's Old Town Road. We've all heard rap and country, but never together. And it is this absurd blend that gives the song a lot of its appeal. Probably the best example of this is the EDM genre. These artists were able to produce sounds that people have never heard before, and this has proven very successful for artists like Alan Walker and the Chainsmokers with hits like Closer, Something Just Like This and Faded, and many more. Of course, many people absolutely abhor EDM, but that's not what we are here to discuss. We are more focused on why so many people do like such genres, and the answer is surprise. But surprise can only go so far. And without a decent amount of complexity, you will most likely end up with fad songs that die faster than they blew up. Unless of course, these songs include emotional appeal as that is the third factor. Storytelling is extremely powerful and really keeps people engaged and invested. We grow up listening to stories and we really never grow out of this interest. This is especially true when you are able to emotionally relate to a story and many songs target precisely this. For example, Hello is about a breakup that is hard to get through. You are the reason is about cherishing others and see you again is about saying goodbye. But this is not just limited to stories, but pretty much any song that is associated with a strong idea. 
Like, high hopes and Hall of Fame are associated with success and motivation, and you may find yourself listening to them anytime you feel down. Or maybe you associate We Will Rock You with sporting events and getting excited. In all of these scenarios, the song evokes an emotion that either makes you feel good or you can relate to. As a result, whenever you feel this way, you turn to these songs and they end up never getting old. So that's the main reason that certain songs never get old. They're either complex, surprising, and or emotionally appealing. But while this applies to most songs that last for a long time, there are several songs that have exploded which have nothing to do with any of this. Like, do you guys know why Gangnam Style was the first video to ever reach 1 billion views on YouTube and why Justin Bieber's songs are so popular? This actually might have nothing to do with the music itself and more to do with the YouTube algorithm or exposure on popular apps like TikTok. Those are just the most common reasons songs stand the test of time, but that is by no means a definitive list as the human brain's response to music is so complex that even people studying it for their entire life only reach the surface of what there is to know. And plus, there are plenty of songs that have all these elements but simply aren't as popular. This is especially true for orchestral pieces like Time from Inception or Now We Are Free from Gladiator which are widely acclaimed as masterpieces but aren't nearly as famous as vocal tracks. Maybe people just like listening to a voice better or maybe again it is just a YouTube algorithm. But either way, music is an art that everyone enjoys and while we can't pinpoint why we enjoy certain songs, it doesn't really matter because what is important is that we are able to enjoy and appreciate the piece of music. But that's just what I think, what do you guys think? This is just a question that I've been pondering for a while, so I decided to make a video about it. But we will return to the regular economic and business related videos next time. So if you guys like this video then make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos just like this one. But until then, I'm Hari and I'll see you guys on the next one.